The Scottish Enlightenment, one of the most important intellectual eras in history, is exploding a new major library exhibition, and I was given a sneak peek the day before it opens. Northern Lights The Scottish Enlightenment promises to take visitors back to a time when received wisdom was questioned. Well this, this is the National Library Summer Exhibition, it's about the Scottish Enlightenment, the title is Northern Lights and it's really about a, an intellectual uh, set of ideas that came out of a country, Scotland, in the, in the northern tip of Europe that actually transformed the world. So it's ideas around economics. Adam Smith's Wealth of Nations is one of the most important books written. The Encyclopedia Britannica emerged at this time as well. So it's all about knowledge, it's about ideas, but more than that, it's about society and about debate and about discourse and how to hold a debate and how to debate ideas and actually publish those ideas in a way that they help society. Treasured library items have been shown, including a first edition of Adam Smith's The Wealth of Nations and a rare first edition of Encyclopedia Britannica. So I was one of the curators that helped to put together the exhibition along with my colleague Robert Betteridge. Um, basically we were deciding on what items to put into the exhibition, um, what stories to tell in relation to the Scottish Enlightenment uh, and we came up with the idea of um, talking about the key disciplines um, that Scottish figures uh, made great contributions to uh, over the course of the 18th century. Uh, I think the standout item for me would be David Hume's manuscript uh, on the dialogues concerning natural religion. Um, Hume is a, an odd figure in the Enlightenment because he's seen uh, as a, a sceptical philosopher and possibly an atheist um, at a time where religion was greatly important to 18th century um, society. Uh, and Hume's asking difficult questions about uh, the nature of God, um, about religion itself. Um, but one of the good things about the Enlightenment is that he's able to present those ideas um, without the, uh, the potential of persecution. Um, so even though people don't agree with him, um, the fact that he can put those ideas out there is a testament to the values of the Enlightenment. And so from that point of view, I think that's one of the highlights of the collection that's on display. Also going on display are letters and documents written by the Enlightenment literati, which reveal some of the original thinking arguments and reasoning of the period. Well, we've got moral philosophy, we've got religion, we've got history, we've got science, we've got medicine. Um, we're really trying to cover everything that, that made up the Scottish Enlightenment, which was much more than just the, the famous philosophers like David Hume and Adam Smith. Um, the, the library's collections for this period are very extensive, so it was more a case of what we're going to leave out. That was a difficult part, not finding the material but knowing what to leave out. There are several I, I really like, but um, I think one of the ones that really impresses me every time is James Hutton's Theory of the Earth, because um, he, he realised that the Earth was constantly being eroded and built up again. People would recognise that the Earth was being eroded all the time, because it's quite easy to see that, but he looked at strata in the rocks and could see that there were parts of rocks that were getting pushed up in, into these strata and he thought well why is that happening and so he figured out that there are forces going on within the earth that, that keep pushing material back up to reform the surface of the earth. Uh, the, the way the curators have done at this time is to humanise it, is to actually look at the human beings who interacted, who produced these works and who had these debates. Everyone from James Bo uh, Boswell, from, um, from David Hume, from Adam Smith, William Cullen and medicine, all of those individuals are personalised in a way, so we tell the stories of the individuals and how they interacted to allow the public to see how human beings interact in a positive way, really discussing really hard, hard debates about society, about God and about the existence of God, about economics, about how society should trade and how worlds should trade, and really it's all about that, it's about those humans who actually generated those ideas in Scotland. Visitors are invited to the famous 18th century epoch through seven themes. The exhibition opens on Friday the 21st of June and runs until late April next year. Ian McNally, That's TV.